Greetings from Tromaville and welcome to the lovingly recreated, digitally remastered director's cut DVD version of Madigan's Millions, starring the great Dustin Hoffman and produced by the dead Sidney Pink. Madigan's Millions was the seminal film of the 60s film revolution. Made in 1967, Madigan's Millions won 52 Oscars, 22 Peabody Awards, 18 Emmys, four Purple Hearts, and the Nobel Peace Prize. Madigan's Millions was voted the number one film of all time on the top 100 list of the AFI, the American Flop Institute's list, not to be confused with that much inferior American Film Institute. In 1967, before he made Citizen Kane, Orson Welles enjoyed Madigan Millions so much that he ate it. Soon thereafter, he shat out Citizen Kane. It is generally agreed that Dustin Hoffman owes his international success and uh, reputation to Madigan's Millions. This film single-handedly rejuvenated Dustin's career after that horrendous flop called The Graduate. Much the way Hoffman's career was subsequently rejuvenated 20 years ago after Tootsie when he made Ishtar. Did you know that Sam Peckinpah and Dustin Hoffman used to screen Madigan's Millions again and again and again? Right before they began production of Straw Dogs and The Wild Bunch, they screened it for inspiration. They learned how you can really make violence into art. And if you want to see how it's done correctly, watch this. But if gore and violence, if, if brutality upsets you, avert your eyes. I warn you, avert your eyes. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sorry. <gasps> You're a lousy shot, G-Man. No, no, I, I don't want to watch that shitty movie again. No, please, please. Oh, 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 oh. I had this horrible nightmare that I was introducing Madigan's Millions on DVD and I had to make up all this crap about the film. And, oh, oh, Madigan's Millions is a great movie. In fact, Madigan's Millions started the whole trend to having great car chases and car stunts. Bullet was was all because of Madigan's Millions. Steve McQueen, check this out. That cop. Oh, I love those hairless boys, man. I should have been a priest. I should have fuck. I should have been a priest. That's right. And Madigan Millions directed by Giorgio Gentili, and he was so famous he had to use another name. If you look at this, it's Stanley Prager because the, the, the mobs at the Cannes Film Festival, there were so many people. You know, Mike Nichols. Mike Nichols, big fan of Stanley Prager and the same guy, George Ogden, the same guy. They went on to make Saturday Night Fever. If you look at the scene with John Travolta doing like this Saturday Night, watch this from, this, you're gonna see this from the Madigan Millions. Watch it because you can see some really good dancing. <laughs> and the music, the music of Madigan's Millions was a, a huge influence on all the films that followed. Um, in fact, the, if, it's, he's a household word today. Uh, G. Gregory, G. Gregory Segura. He's famous. He, everybody knows him. And, and, in fact, listen to some of this. Just close your eyes and listen. Oh, oh there are my house keys. Another thing about Madigan's Millions is all class. Just like Troma DVDs. While Dustin Hoffman was filming his seminal movie, Madigan's Millions, on an adjacent set in Brooklyn, New York, a young Robert De Niro was wrapping his masterpiece, A Wedding Party, when he decided to meet Dustin Hoffman. The two of them got together to discuss the craft of acting. And thanks to the presence of a young Lloyd Kaufman who happened to be nearby looking for male hookers, this footage has been preserved. Watch this incredible footage from 1969. What are, your, what are your opinions on love? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are your opinions on love? I don't want to hurt you. What are your opinions on love? And so, ladies and gentlemen, you can easily see why Madigan's Millions is appreciated by billions as being in the pantheon of cinema history. 
Ah, what am I saying? I, I'm, I've been living a lie. I can't go on with this. I don't care what you say, Michael Hurst. I'm not going to lie to these people. I've, I've, I've never seen Madigan's Millions. We, we just downloaded it off the internet. It's so, uh, I, I, I didn't serve in Vietnam, and, and I wasn't in the National Guard. I, I, I didn't, I didn't throw away my Purple Hearts. I, I ate them. I, I don't know anything. I, I'm, I'm going to kill myself. My life sucks. I hate myself. I, I hate my. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's, that's John Kerry and George Bush. I'm not John Kerry and George Bush. I'm Lloyd Kaufman, and I've got Madigan's Millions, and we can, and we can watch it on DVD. So let's watch. Uh, 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 oh. oh no, the irony.